Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. All right, 2011 Ford Escape. 2.24 valve Duratec engine here. 3.0 liter V6. Repacing the spark plugs on this. And we can take some stuff apart here. Alright, so we got the 8mm bolts holding the coils in. Do the easy part first, show you how to replace the spark plug on this. Just gonna push this tab on here, right here, to release it. In theory, anyway, you get a little baby screwdriver and lift up on that little tab. So. And then we'll uh, take the spark plug out of there. The hole looks pretty clean. If you have some air, you can maybe blow in there to make sure all the debris is out. Spark plug socket, 5 8 has a little rubber bushing in there to help hold the spark plug. That's what makes it special from a regular 5 8 socket. Get a deep one, but you can also, of course, use a regular size one with extensions. Comes out. All right, then we got our spark plug and a gapper. They want 0.045 to 0.049, so just put it in here and check it. And it looks to be at about 49. We're good. Just do all this with all the spark plugs. With this particular gapper, you can open up the gap if you need to by doing this. 
and maybe tap uh, this on a hard surface to make it the gap smaller. Takes a little practice, but uh, that's the way you can do it to adjust the gap. And we'll just put this in. I have a torque spec of 15 newton meters. It's called dielectric grease in here. It helps with moisture and I think it helps also uh, so this doesn't stick to the spark plug. Of course, just do the same for the other five, and uh, of course, we'll show you how to get the intake manifold off and on for the back three. All right, so an overview it looks like uh, we're taking this hose off here, this hose off here, possibly some electrical connectors, eight millimeter bolts right here, one here. Electrical connectors not touching. Maybe this map sensor Ooh, right there. This hose here. And then, really, most importantly, probably is actually the bolts down here on this bracket. Might be able to undo those bracket bolts and undo all these and just tilt it up enough so they can get underneath there to do the rear uh, spark plugs and coils. Might not actually have to take it out all the way, FYI. Well, I guess we do have the EGR valve too. If I just uh, undo two 10 millimeter bolts on it. 10 millimeter bolt here and there's probably one on the other side. I think I'd leave this bracket because of the pipe. Just leave this bracket alone. And probably reuse the gap reuse the gasket probably. Then we'll check the intake plenum gasket as well. If it's a rubber one we can probably reuse it. We'll check how see how much it sticks out, how puffy it still is. That gasket will often stick to something, so just keep an eye out on that gasket, though. So, all right.
So I'm just kind of fighting this hose right here a little bit. Got the clamp slid back. Just have to set it free. It's got a pretty long snout on it. It's probably going about that far. So that's what I'm fighting with. And there it is, slid off to the side. That's really all you gotta do. <clears throat> There's a fitting in here. Apparently broke off here. Plastic just seems to break sometimes. I'll get a mirror and show you there's rubber gaskets here, but they feel pretty darn good. You can feel a nice lip on them. So if you put your hand in here and you really feel it being like flush, then I'd recommend replacing it. But I got a nice, nice bump down here where it's sticking out. So I don't feel bad about replacing that or reusing it. So, and uh, then put it back together and I'll give you some torque specs. All right, so the specs on these are 89 inch pounds plus 45 degrees so time down to 89 inch pounds and then 45 degrees uh, maybe after i'm done i'll give you a, a kind of a final torque spec it's going to be darn close to what my torque spec is and you would probably be just fine with that there was a friction fit pin for this uh, ho uh wiring harness as well on here so you got that connected that back on also start all your bolts start them all don't tighten them along with your bracket and your EGR bolts. You know, everything's started, that way you don't have to worry about lining up once it's something's tight. So, I think you have everything you need to do it. This has a little daily bumper to release on that. So, all right, good luck to you on your spark plug replacement on your 2011, I'm sure other model years, 3.0 liter escape. That was 89 inch pounds. Now we're doing 45 degrees. Sixteen Newton meters.
that's about 16 foot pounds is where you end up 15 to 16 foot pounds I think you'll be just fine on that uh, just snug up the bracket bolt and tighten down the EGR bolt is probably another maybe close to 16 18 foot pounds as well just snug it down tight I'm sure you'll be fine